At the United Nations Conference of the Parties in Paris, 195 countries approved an agreement that commits nearly every country to reducing greenhouse gas emissions in an effort to slow global warming. With the climate change announcement, we offer a recap of some false and misleading claims about the effects of climate change that SciCheck, a project of factcheck.org, has debunked in 2015. I read this morning a Newsweek article from the 1970s talking about global cooling. And it said the science is clear, it is overwhelming, we are in a major cooling period, and it's gonna cause enormous problems worldwide. Now, the data proved to be not backing up that theory. So then all the advocates of global cooling suddenly shifted to global warming. The Newsweek story, which did warn of a cooling world, has been criticized and largely debunked by its own author. Senator Cruz's claim that advocates of global cooling suddenly shifted to global warming ignores the fact that there was no scientific consensus in the 1970s about global cooling. Here's another claim from former Alaska governor and vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin. I take changes in the weather, the cyclical changes that uh, the globe has undergone for since the beginning of time. I, I take it seriously, but I'm not going to blame these changes in the weather on man's footprint. Obama was up here looking at, say, the glaciers and pointing out a glacier that was receding. Well, there are other glaciers, though, that are growing up here, and, and he didn't highlight that, but he used glaciers as an example. But an individual glacier's growth does not disprove the existence or causes of global warming. In fact, the vast majority of glaciers in Alaska and around the world are losing ice rapidly. The U.S. Geological Survey and the University of Washington in Seattle measured the mass balance of 116 glaciers in Alaska, 41% of the total glacial area, and extrapolated the results to the rest of the state. They found that Alaska's glaciers are losing 75 gigatons of ice every year. A gigaton is equal to 1 billion metric tons of ice. Here's another bogus claim, this time about humans' impact on climate change. Tree of the Do you Earth, believe uh, that man contributes to global he, warming? He probably does, but a volcano in one blast will contribute more than 100 years of human activity. So okay, when people are worried about it, you know. According to a summary of evidence by the U.S. Geological Survey, the entire collection of volcanoes around the world emits an average of 0.26 gigatons of carbon dioxide per year. Remember, a gigaton is a billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. Humans today, on the other hand, emit more than 30 gigatons every year, from power plants and factories, cars and airplanes, agriculture, and other activities. So that means humans collectively are responsible for nearly 125 times as much carbon dioxide entering the atmosphere every year as volcanoes. Here's a claim about the connection between worsening storms and climate change. In a Wall Street Journal op-ed titled, The Climate Change Religion, Representative Lamar Smith, a Republican from Texas and the chairman of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, said, The White House's climate assessment implies that extreme weather is getting worse due to human-caused climate change. The president regularly makes this unsubstantiated claim, most recently in his Earth Day proclamation, citing more severe weather disasters. That claim from Representative Smith is incorrect. There is some evidence linking climate change to worsening hurricanes, droughts, and other disasters. A 2014 summary published jointly by the U.S. National Academy of Sciences and its British equivalent, the Royal Society, agrees that the science on hurricanes in general is not settled, but that hurricanes are likely to become larger and more powerful as the world warms. There is also evidence that warming will make hurricanes more intense and extreme weather events, like droughts and heavy precipitation events, worse. But some claims have gone too far in the other direction. Here's a claim from Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid. The drought that's affecting all across America, but especially in the West, it's so bad, Mr. President, so bad in the West that in the Sierras, there are hot bears who don't even hibernate anymore. It's not cold enough. Factcheck.org could find no published evidence regarding changes to black bear hibernation. And biologist Jesse Garcia of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife told Factcheck that, we have no data or specific evidence that black bears in the Sierras have changed their hibernation patterns. Black bears are not true hibernators, and they will often display some midwinter activity, Garcia said. We'll continue to see deceptions as the debate over climate change continues. So to get the truth behind the claims, go to SciCheck at factcheck.org.